Hello, friends. Uh, on this Monday, we are honoring the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King. And many of you know that I have a very special place in my heart for the teachings of Dr. King. I've been blessed to uh, go down to Ebenezer Baptist Church and to preach at that church uh, on the occasion of the National Martin Luther King Day. I've been blessed to offer the annual Dr. King keynote in Memphis from the very spot that, um, uh, that he was martyred. Um, and of course, it goes without saying that all of us recognize him as one of the great moral beacons, not just for this country, but for the world. And there's also a way in which the name and the legacy and the image of Dr. King can end up being and has ended up being used as a prop by many politicians to advocate for a kind of agenda that Dr. King himself would have found quite strange. So here's a um, litmus test that I encourage you to think about. If you notice politicians who talk about wealth and growth, but never about poverty or materialism, you're not getting a real Dr. King lecture. And if you get someone who talks about the dream of Dr. King, but never talks about the nightmare in which we as a human community are living in, never talks about Palestine, never talks about 30,000 killed human beings, know that what you're being sold is not the full legacy of Dr. King, but a whitewashed and sanitized version. Insist on better.